where's your variable? Your variable is in your exponent. The only way to get a variable down is a log, a power log. Another way to do this, on this case, is if you could bring this down to the same base. So those are your exponential equations that we did a little, little while ago. And in Algebra 2 as well. If you want, you can bring this to the same base. If not, make life easy. Take the log of both sides. Bring this down. This all comes out and it stays like this. It works either way. If you didn't catch the, the 64 drops to a base of 4, be careful because sometimes if they don't drop to a base of 4, then you have to drop down both of them to a base of 2. Like if you have this, 8 does not drop down to a base of 4. You have to drop both of these down to a base of 2. This is very doable. If not, do this. So then you're going to subtract 7. You're going to divide that mess by 2. Is it doable? It's not that pretty, but it's doable. Right. Um, this one also, E, your natural log, you're going to take the natural log of both sides. Your variable is in your exponent. The only thing to bring that down is the power log rule. Take the ln, get rid of your 3 first, because this only goes to the E. Remember that. Divide by 3, take the ln, the left here. Ln E, that's the one property I told you to remember. If not, try that in your calculator. If you put ln e in your calculator, ln and e, uh, oops, this is bloat. I'm just going to raise it to the 1. It's going to cancel out to 1. Same thing with if you take e raised to the ln. This is going to cancel out. Whoops, that one didn't like that one. I had to put a one in there, sorry. Anything you put in there, it'll cancel out to whatever this whatever this guy is. It'll cancel that out. Um, my parentheses are off again. But that's the one property that you really, really need to remember. The LNE cancels out. Once you do this, this comes down. Now remember we talked about it being an exact value versus when you put it in your calculator and give me three decimals. Okay, and all I need is the three decimals. This is a type where you have the variable in the exponent. You need a log to bring it down. You can use ln for everything. But you have to use ln when it's an e. Okay? Now this one, there's only one word log. I can't get rid of it because it's not on both sides. I can't add one to the other side because it's an equal sign. So I flip it. I do log equals exponent. Whichever way you like to do it, back, whatever way you learn, is fine with me. Start at the bottom, raise it to the 3, equals 3x. That's another great way to go. Base, exponent, equals 3x. X, sorry. Solve it, and you're good. You can, by the way, you can check these on your calculator. Do these as you're graphing. We, we graphed a lot of these to check before we did the, the log rule. Graph it, see where they intersect. And you'll come out to the same thing. Um, the ones on the bottom here, these were good ones to drop down to the same base. You can take the log of both sides, absolutely. You can take the log of both sides. You can take the ln of both sides. Bring this down. Divide by log base 4. Do the same thing with all of them. If you want, take the ln of both sides. Even leave 1 over 49. Just bring this down. Divide by ln 7, both sides. And it works. Just watch your parentheses. Watch the parentheses. You can bring these down to the same base. Um, this is always a tougher one when we have a fraction. I always flip my fraction back over first. I get rid of the fraction, whichever side it's on. So when you do 2 to the negative 1, this takes it and takes the reciprocal. So if I put this to the negative 1 and do 49 to the negative 1, that's where this fraction came from, right? If I take its reciprocal. So I just flip it back, I just flip it back over. Then I drop it to the same base. Whichever way you like to do it, it's fine.
Um, this one was kind of nice because if you look at this, this is three squared. This is, uh, sorry, three cubed. This is four cubed. So it matches up to these, and you can see the x has to be three. Whichever way you find easier to view this is fine. If you took the log of both sides and brought down your exponent, it still works the same. Take the log of both sides and divide by the log of three fourths, it works the same. These guys, they only have one word log, so you have to flip these. Log equals exponent. I find this to be the easiest way. Log base 10, there's my exponent, equals x. 10 to the negative 1 half equals x. And another time, a lot of times they don't put the 10 there. So it's, it's easier for you to do, to put the 10. Because then you, you remember to do 10 to the negative 1 half. When the 10's not there, you tend to look at it and say, where's my base? What am I supposed to do? Put the 10. Same as with an ln, put the e. LN and E, this was an expression, nothing to solve. I just kind of wanted you to see the LN E cancels out. It'll cancel itself out. That's one of those properties to remember. You guys have any questions so far? I saw a lot of blank papers. How's this going? Y you should at least have this out if you didn't do it and do some with me, that would make the most sense. Number 10, the e to the ln cancels out, thanks out. And just bring that down, that was an expression. Number 11, your variables in the exponent, the only way to bring that down, and I can't drop 360 to a base of eight, and I can't drop it to a base of four, or two, four wouldn't help me, but two would, but I can't drop it to a two either. So use the log of both sides or the ln of both sides. Number 12, same thing. My variable is in my exponent. Take the log of both sides, take the ln of both sides. You could hold this off and divide by negative 2 log 5. Uh, you can't divide by negative 2 log 5, sorry. You can divide by negative let get rid of the log first and then do your fraction last if you prefer. Take its reciprocal. And remember, these are equations. You should be checking these. Substitute them back in for x, just like we did on Monday, uh, Tuesday. Just like we did on Tuesday, we substituted them back in to see that they work. Are you going to make a two times? From this negative 2, I took this out of here. I took the negative 2 and multiplied it. Another way, if you don't like doing it like this, do one step at a time. Divide first by log of 5, if it's troubling to look at the whole thing. Then you get negative t over 2 equals this mess. And now get rid of your denominator. Now multiply both sides by negative 2. Maybe that helps better it, not, not to deal with them both at the same time. The negative and the two I just hooked together so you get rid of the negative and don't have to divide by a negative at the end. And you can do that either way, whatever way works for you. But the only way to get that variable down is with a log rule. negative 10. Mm -hmm. You can do it that way. Do one step at a time. They're, they follow order of operations. They follow everything that you know how to solve an equation. They just look a little bit worse when we use the word log. For some odd reason, everybody just has an aversion to the word log. This has a variable in the exponent, but we can't bring that down until we isolate it. We get one term, one term. So add the 13. Um, I divided by 5. So, or you could leave it and take the log of both sides and use the product rule. Here's the difference. If I didn't divide by 5 and I took the log of both sides, I would have to say log 5 plus 
log 2 to the 3 minus x, and bring this down here, and subtract log 5 for the other side, which is probably what I should have done, but I wanted to show you, if you take the shortcut, do not put this in your calculator, leave it like that, all the way through. So, you could have separated this, and said equals log of 113, then subtract log 5, which is essentially what you're going to be doing, and then pull out your 3 minus x thing. This was kind of a messy one. So I left it all together because it was a pretty messy looking thing. Number 15, I threw in there. See, it's like if you cut the quadratic part of it. Is it still working? If, if I did this, This is factorable. Okay, now all I did, let's say, is throw in a, a 2x up here. I made it a base e, and I threw in this. If you take your exponent, you take this 2, and we made it be a 1 and a 1. We divided it in half, right? If you divide this 2x by 2, what do you get? So each one of these has to be an x and an x. Remember, when you multiply, you add the exponent. So when you separate them out, you're actually do, you're dividing them. If you have to the sixth plus something or other to the third here, this will even give it away right here. You divide this in half. This is an x third, x cubed, x cubed. This guy really kind of gives it away in the middle. It's just factorable. Um, you can't take a log or an ln of a negative because your domain is from zero to infinity so you have to reject that one you can also all your quadratics you put in your calculator you can put this in as well and your solutions your roots your zeros are all on your x-axis it ties in the same thing as any other quadratic it just looks a little messier And again, you have only one log here, so you need to flip this. The base of an ln is e. So don't forget, put the e, just like you would do a base 10. Put the 10. So e to the 2.1 is equal to 4x. Just put divide by 4, put that in your calculator. Number 17. Again, flip this. Log equals exponent. Oops. I think I working. Log equals exponent. There's your base 10 to the 2 equals b minus 3. Add 3 and resolve it. Okay. Just resolve it. 18 was the other, the, the last example that we, we did the other day. You got logs everywhere. So you want to bring them down to log one term, log equals log one term. And then you can take your logs away. Put a line down your equal sign. This has to condense to one log. And when the, we were subtracting exponents, what were we to do into your bases? Divide them. So this is your quotient rule. Bring out the 1 ln, or a log, whatever one it says, and make a quotient. Now you have one term, one term. Now you can take your logs away. And it doesn't look a lot better, but it's doable now. Cross multiply, get everything to one side, and factor. And again, be careful, you have to check your factors. Boil this out, get it back to one side, factor again. Now. Not always do negatives reject. It depends what was in there. If I only looked at this part, x plus 5, these negatives would be fine. But this is causing me an x plus 1, and this is causing me both to be negative. So both of these have to be rejected. But just because they're negative doesn't mean you're going to definitely reject them. Go back and look at the problem. 
and substitute it in. You can't take the log of zero, you can't take the log of a negative number. I, I believe it or not, I think these are the easier ones when logs are all over the place, but I think it's, it's confusing when you look at a problem that's got blah, 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 blah everywhere. Just put a line down the equal sign and bring them down to one term, one term. Just as you put logs on these equations, you put the ln here, you can take the ln away, as long as it's one term, one term. Okay, here's another one. Put a line down the equal sign. There's another subtract. There's your quotient rule. Once you bring it down, you cancel out your log. Doesn't matter if it says ln or log, you cancel it out. Set it up. Cross multiply, that's probably the easiest. And factor. Now, this did not factor. So yes, this is a little tougher to do. So quadratic formula or complete the square, whichever one you like. And you can put that in your calculator. The, the negative one, you're going to have to reject. The 3 works fine. It covered it in this one and covered it in that one. But the negative one, you have to reject. You can't take a log of a negative or a zero. So this is a beefy problem. This is an homage problem. But you should be able to work through it. With what you know, you should be able to do it. Would I give you one on a test? No. But I do like to challenge you on your homework. Unfortunately, a lot of you don't take the challenge of even a regular homework problem. You need to be able to challenge yourself with this. Was this the last one? No, no another one? I didn't want to erase it. Okay, and the last one. This is a bit confusing. It's got logs on one side. So get it down to one statement. Remember, this is a base of E. When you flip this, E to the 10 equals this mess. And the easiest way to do this one, put it in your house because you can't factor and that's cute. Put it in your house. That's also an honest problem. But challenge yourself with this. Challenge yourself. I was a little 